Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you might be in the world. This is Hedgin Lee with a morning update. And here we're looking at the chart of Bitcoin. And reviewing some of the comments. I completely understand, because I've been there myself, how one can get fidgety, a little bit nervous, a bit of a discomfort sets in when prices start correcting. And, and the essay I wrote, you want to be able to turn to something or somebody who might know better than you to tell you what's going on. And you use them as that anchored reference to give yourself quote unquote pain relief. I know exactly what that's like because I've done that. And sometimes I even catch myself doing that because I'm only human. And it's only human to do have a reaction like that. It's perfectly normal. But for any of you who are really seriously trying to take on an endeavor and becoming a real good trader investor, you'll see, begin to see at a certain point a metamorphosis of how you see it. Where when you see actually witness a crash, you almost don't react. That reaction of panic can be managed and controlled. You can almost be a little bit detached and look at it with calmness, a little more serenity. Even though the crash is, let's say you are witnessing this crash here and you are still in. You didn't sell, take your profits here. And you see it lower, lower going, crash, crash. It's extremely painful. That is why if you can come to a certain point of technical analysis development where you do your own analysis, self-analysis of the charts, that's why I am here to see if I can help you or anyone who wants to go there. And I'm not saying I'm the nirvana of that. Or gosh, no. Like I said, after five years of technical analysis, I thought I was pretty good. After 10 years, I thought I was a hot shot. Then I got my humble pies. And now after 15 plus years, I realize I'm still improving. You have to understand that nothing goes down forever, nothing goes up forever. There is always a two-step forward, one-step back process. Yesterday I had said during my video post that I'm expecting a correction. Somewhere around 4,100 or so. Maybe that, maybe as much as um, four thousand or sub four hundred, four thousand a little bit. Which is why I do this yesterday. That it might dip and rise again, and I was trying to do a forward discernment that if it does dip, they could be head and shoulders here, so left shoulder, the head, and right shoulder. I had counted this, but I doubted this. I thought maybe it should be long up here. But for now, I kept it there. Until I wanted to see the onset of the correction. So what's changed from yesterday to today? Correction that I was talking about has started. 
Einstein always said at the end, the answer becomes very simple. The correction has started. Can the correction get out of control? Possibly. A lot of people are calling a new low lows where it'll just go fall, 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 fall. I'm not part of that tribe. I disagree with that. So, my primary account still stands that we are in a A, B, which will make higher highs, new all time highs. Whether it'll go exactly to this 6,000 or 5,300, I don't know. But based on my pattern analysis, if this correction does happen, and prices go beyond this, in other words, the head and shoulders completes and confirms, <coughs> then based on the minimum calculation of the head and shoulders, we could be at around 5,800. And if this is an ascending white triangle, then we can be at around 6,000. Using that as my guideposts, I then try to count the squiggles. So now that the correction has started, I'm going to move the one here. Two as here potential can go as low as the prior wave four, which is 38, 39. What am I going to do with my lungs that I had filled? Nothing. I own it, I leave it. Because of what I'm, I just explained on a longer term scale. But since there's a good amount of support, in this area, I think 4100 or maybe 4050, I could correct down to. So if he corrects like this, what would that make of this as, uh, ascending right triangle? Could I redraw like this? There is no law that says you cannot. Absolutely you can. It's still a valid ascending right triangle. The only thing is I will lower this parallel line. So instead of 6,000, the new target will be around 5,800. And holy cow, <laughs> it will be the same as out of a head and shoulders bottom or inverse head and shoulders pattern target. These are no accidents. Because my Elliott wave counts, my chart patterns, they both measure the same thing. The reflection of sentiment, which is the price charts. And the reflection of sentiment moves in Fibonacci ratios. So my patterns and my counts are all interrelated to the same theme of mathematics, Fibonacci ratio. So, going back to what I started with, try and practice counting on your own. For example, take the same chart after listening to what I said and see if you can label it, count it, and project it. Only that way, by practice, 
and you have to practice almost every day. By practicing, you'll be able to do your own analysis and not have to come to Hedgen and say, what's going on? Can you give me an update? I enjoy providing the updates. All I'm saying is that they, your proficiency will get to a level where you won't even need me anymore. Where possibly even the mentor will learn from the student. That's amazing to see that happen. When you will critique, or better yet, offer alternate counts of scenarios or confirm my analysis. Either way, that'll be a very interesting uh, dialogue. And as I've said, once you try to attempt labeling, post it. Take a snapshot of your chart, post it, and let me know. I'll take a look at it and, and make input. I've already had a few of those <coughs> charts posted. And that's the only way to learn, to be very interactive. Learning is not from me to you only, just feeding you information and updates. So don't panic. Number one, don't panic. Number two, keep practicing to become a little more proficient every day towards technical analysis. And these kinds of corrections will not bother you like it bothers you maybe now. <coughs> I see nothing changed in my analysis and my calls. I hope this is helpful.